Dude dominated. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. Nice. That nade. What is up, guys? Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. Are you ready for the global release? It's starting tomorrow, guys, and there's a huge event going on that's gonna last for two whole weeks. The event is named Lighting Up The World and is gonna count the total match played during the next two weeks. So the more games people play, the better the rewards we're gonna get. There's a bar at the bottom. When the total number of games played will reach 10 million, we're gonna get a secret reward. Then another one at 25 million games. It's gonna go up to 300 million games played. Can we reach 300 million globally? I would say yes. The event just started two hours ago. There's already 3 million games played and the game is not even launched yet. Now we don't know what the rewards are yet, but we still have a sneak peek on the thumbnail of lighting up the world. There's a weapon there with a skin that I've never seen before. I don't think it's the lemon skin. It could be it. But anyways, yellow, gray, and black, and it looks pretty good. So I don't know if it's the final reward or if it's going to be one of the first rewards, but cannot wait to see. Now, if you guys going to play Call of Duty Mobile tomorrow, there's a lot of stuff you need to know. First of all, you need to check the weekly challenges. There's a bunch of tasks and you have, well, it says eight days and 22 hours. So it's going to start counting a week after global launch tomorrow. So you're going to have a whole seven days as usual. And when you do the task, it's for multiplayer and battle royale. And you're going to get like free credits and free battle crates just for playing. So make sure you keep an eye on these and don't forget to go and claim once you're done. Now there's a lot of stuff they added into the game just for global release. First of all is the cashback bonus event. There was a cashback bonus on the soft launch and they are back. So if you're going to buy some COD points, well, you don't just get your COD points. You're going to get some bonuses. The more COD points you buy, the better the rewards. But if you guys are going to buy 4,000 COD points, well, you're going to get the first ever Karambit knife in the game. This is the first one. There's no Karambit yet. Color Burst is the name of the new skin. And you got the full set of Color Burst. Color Burst, the parachute. You got the wingsuit. You also got the backpack. So I think it's pretty cool they do that because... Is if you were gonna buy cut points anyway, well, you might do it when there's an event. They also add a bunch of new crates in the shop. So if you don't know what to do with your cut points, well, the season weapon crate was already there. It's where they put the old gold black weapons. The top right, Royal Crimson weapon crate. Look at the new skin, guys. PDW Royal Crimson. This one is freaking insane, but the epics are so hard to get. These crates are cheaper than some of the crates we've seen before. Now look at the rares. Deep Shark Type 25. Now this is freaking epic. The Type 25 is one of the best weapons in the game. They also did the Deep Shark on the S36. This weapon is really good by the way. I made a video about the Evil Clown skin. This is good. Now there's a new skin also. It's called Prophet on the Prophet Soldier crates. I'll be honest with you guys. I think it sucks. I don't like it. But good news, if you miss the preseason or the old crates, well, the Merc one is back and it's just an uncommon, super easy to get and I love it. I use it a lot. Now the blue crates, not much to see here. The daily crate is just the one you get for playing every day. The color burst bundle, there's a pretty cool RPD, but it's very expensive. 1500 cut points for a weapon skin and a grenade skin. Thanks, but no tanks. Last one, celebration bundle. Don't touch it, guys. It's not worth it. Now, one last thing, guys. If you're going to play Call of Duty Mobile tomorrow, here's what you need to know. Season pass. Make sure you check the weekly challenges because you're going to have probably two weeks already. Um, and yeah, you can go back and do the old challenges. You want to get as much as you can before the end of the season. It doesn't matter if you decide to buy the battle pass or you play for free, you still have rewards to unlock by going up to tier 100. You can get the Type 25 Pinstripes. Once again, Type 25, one of my favorite weapons, and the Pinstripe skin is super cool. But that will be it for today, guys. Leave me a comment below. Are you going to play this game? Did you try it already, or were you waiting for the global release? 
I'll show some hype in the comments and don't forget to hit the like if you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. Uh, you have a bigger screen on Captain iPad? Well, yeah. We're capturing Alpha. But some guys mirror their phone on their big screen also. Friendly care package inbound. Captured A. UAV online. UAV online. We lost the lead. Capturing Bravo. Ah, uh, double. Capturing B. Guys, let's capture. UAV online. Do we have it? Yes. Hunter killer drone on standby. We captured Bravo. It's too close. Fight harder. Hunter killer drone deployed. UAV online. We've taken the lead. Losing Bravo. Enemy down. Ah, that was an assist. No. Nice. Do we do it? No, 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 no. No. We captured C. Dude, dominated. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. Nice. That nade. Hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Losing A. Come on, I'm rushing with the shotgun versus three guys. If it was rank, I would never do that. I would not be playing the shotgun anyway. Seems like I have ping also. Yeah, emulators. Um, I don't approve. <laughs>